the Kiam prison, I was just curious particularly about that particular bombing. I mean, they all belie the, you know, any kind of sensible explanation, but, but the, the prison was no longer a prison. It was a tourist destination where, uh, where former prisoners would show people around. And I thought, you know, so the Israelis clearly thought it was bad PR, and the way they dealt with something that was causing bad PR was to bomb it, which yeah. is, you know, <laughs> kind of their way of doing things. I mean, it's very familiar, of course, not very familiar. Uh, two soldiers have been captured. They crossed to the other side. Two soldiers taken prisoner, several others died. This is how it started, so said the Jewish state. Forget about 96, 82, 67, 48. Two soldiers taken prisoner, and by the Sea of Galilee, we must defend our borders, wherever they may be. We must defend our soldiers, wherever they're deployed. Two of them are captured, one country is destroyed. Somewhere in Tel Aviv, generals drawing battle lines for the town where Jesus turned water into wine. On the 10-year anniversary of a massacre of children, they thought it was a good idea to massacre some children. Anyone in the South, I heard Ehud Olmert say, everyone's a target and may be killed today. And if your home has turned to rubble, it may be pulverized some more. Because two soldiers have been captured. We've got to settle up the score. A hundred thousand homes leveled to the ground. Every olive branch on offer burned where it was found. Every chance at dialogue rejected right on cue. If you're going to burn your bridges, you might as well bomb them too. They even bombed the prison where they used to torture fighters, where they had the dogs and leashes, cigarettes and lighters, where they were kept shackled, not allowed to stand, where they torched the forests, turned them into sand. The entire world watches, a few thousand demonstrate, governments take action, all too little or too late, all the telephones are ringing in case you couldn't read the signs. This is the IDF, and you're in the firing line. Condoleezza came to visit for about an hour. She thought it was a party, some kind of baby shower. She said these were the birth pangs of a brand new morn. But in the hospitals today, all the babies were stillborn. The stars and stripes among the ruins say where they were made, in case anybody wonders about all that military aid, in case anybody wonders about all the mines around the farms, or why so many toddlers are missing legs and arms, or why so many wonder exactly what was meant by wiping out our homes and then sending us a tent or why, if you ask them, who is Nasrallah? They'll tell you. He's our leader, and we all are Hezbollah.